Remember when you said it doesn't get better than this. Only a fool to let you go. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to today's video. I hope you get to enjoy it. Kindly don't skip the ads. If you're new here, please feel much welcomed. And to all my returnees, thank you for always coming back. Also share this video if you can and leave a comment at the end of it. So clearly I started the video by dropping off my son to school because it was in the morning and I also had some few things that I needed to run in the day. Back home and the first thing I did was to water my flowers because I had stayed for quite some time before doing that and I felt like on this specific day it was very necessary for me to water them. The memories of us is all I have See so one day I'm gonna reach ya Take a plane for me So guys I've just watered my flowers And I'm just trying to show you clearly I've put some small amount of water You don't have to put too much I want to tell you some few tips on how to grow your flowers at home because I felt it's worth sharing so that we can all be knowledgeable. So guys, the first thing that I was actually taught this by my brother, he's a landscaper. He's a very professional landscaper and he knows more of this. So he was telling me like the first thing that most of us do is to place the pebbles up to this area up to this area you are not supposed to place your pebbles here but this is the correct way you're supposed to do them you're supposed to like place the pebbles around but not up to this place but Ukiziyeka hapa, they lack the sufficient the sufficient flow of oxygen and most of the flowers are, with time they will die. Watering is best done in the morning and clearly as you can see the weather is very gloomy. In fact it has been raining. Let me show you. You can just see that clearly kumekwa drizzle and the weather is kind of gloomy so he told me you have to be watering your flowers very early in the morning and it all depends with the weather if the weather is very hot you will have to add some more amount of water but if the weather is kind of this one it's just a little amount and you're good to go you don't have to put too much because it's necessary after all it's not so necessary another reason for putting the pebbles this far it allows fast growth of roots and anchored by fast growth of roots i mean like the roots zitamea vizuri then the flower it a mea straight haita jikunja like it will just go straight if it's a flower or a plant that goes straight like for this one if you can all remember i had to chop like i had to prune the ones that were kind of dying because of course zilikuwa zishazeka and i just had to so for this case i'm going to prune this one and you can do it manually like you just pluck or unakata too or you can use a sharp pruning objects like the scalpel and for me i'm going to use a scalpel because it's here with me it's here with me so i'll be cutting it off with a scalpel so for pruning, you just don't prune anyhow, but you prune the ones that are this way, the ones that are turning brown and you can do it like you can just decide to cut it off 
because for this one you can cut it off anyway or you can use a sharp object like the scalpel so i will be using the scalpel if you're watching this and you have flowers at your balcony or your home please take note of this because it is very very help helpful and i hope you get to rectify on the areas that maybe you didn't know where you are going wrong so i'll only be pruning this one because for this one i did it off camera with my brother in case your flower or your plant is affected with insect you apply the diazonon diazonon kills the insect and you can easily get it from any agrovet like for me this flower these are this is the rose flower and I just realized that the leaves are kind of turning brownish as you can all see I don't know the reason why in case you are having such a flower at home or maybe from your garden and it's being affected with the insect kindly consider getting the diazonon and you will be clearing up all the insects so I'll be I do not have the diazonon because I'll be getting it later 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 in the day and for now i'll just be wiping it off like he told me you can apply jivu jivu is the that mabakia charcoal and the ones from the firewood once you have cooked with firewood ile jivu like you all know jivu ash Ash, I'm talking of ash, you add some little ash on the flowers and they'll sprout out well again. So guys, like the major thing that kills most of our plants at home is lack of manure. So by that time that you're getting your flowers from the wherever you are, you buy them, make sure that you get some manure. And you can also do the local manure like the mud, like the maviangombe. I don't know how it's called in English. I think I've just forgotten it. The cow dung. Yeah, you can get the cow dung and add in the soil then you can plant your flowers and cow dung is a very good manure by the way for those who don't know cow dung is a very very good manure and you can try it maybe from your end if you can access it and just mix it with your soil and plant your flowers i will also be wiping these ones because they are quite dusty and i just love my spaces clean and this is one of the reasons, this is one of the tasks that I rarely delegate because I just feel it's okay for me to do it in person. If you have been here for quite some time and ever since I got these flowers you could just tell that zilikuwa pamoja pamoja like I had placed them close to one another that is another thing that kills off our flowers or our plants because they lack that flow of energy that flow of oxygen so my brother also advised me that you don't have to place them close to one another like you have to leave some space even though for mine I've not yet, yet spaced like I had done before um, I'm just doing this for the sake of camera so that I can capture everything but after here I'll be separating them for I'll be pulling them far apart from one another so you can also consider doing that and you will be good to go and just to assure you that my flowers are coming up so well you can see that 
it's coming up so well ndio hii ina mea this one i don't know if the phone will focus so well but this one it's germinating also on this other end you can see it's germinating and i just love it i love it for this one i've not yet gotten the planter but i'll be getting one soon ni venye sijapata because it's quite wide and the most of the flowers that i'm getting are shallow and this one needs a deeper deeper planter i'm still yet i'm still contemplating if i'll go for the plastic one or maybe this like the one in this size so but stay connected i'll just let you know in one of my videos also guys before i forget after every 14 days you have to apply folia folia is nutrients for leaves please note that i'm referring from my phone because uh sijashikanisha hizi vitu and i felt it's okay for me to share with you so in case you've also been not allowing your flowers or your plants in your home garden or wherever not to access the direct sunlight also consider that because it is a condition for growth and so guys that's the little knowledge that i felt it worth sharing with you and i hope you've taken the keynotes if you have some plants in your home spaces or wherever I have also removed those curtains from outside because I had washed them the previous evening and hung them but unfortunately they were rained on and they remained with some stains so I'll be rewashing them again. I will also be removing the shears and the curtains from the dining area because they are very dusty and I want to wash them just like two loads and I'll be done. For the first load I'll be doing the shears from both the living room and the dining area because I can't stand bare windows by the way and I'll also be doing the curtains from the dining area because they're not so big. Then for the second load I'll be doing the curtains from the living room area because they're very very big. I'll be heading to Kenyatta Market to do my hair from here. So I'll, I was doing this in much, much hurry because I didn't want to run out of time because it was already 11 p.m. and I felt it's quite late for me considering that I come quite far from Kenyatta Market. So guys this is much much later and i want to leave for the salon i'm heading to kenyatta market i even don't know what i'm going to which style i'm going to do but i'll think about it as i go there then for the second load uh, my nanny will help me remove and hang them because it's about 11 pm and i want to leave nastaki nichele because i also have some few errands to run in town before the day ends so I won't be doing it in person
also i'm not always a fan of scent of the day i don't know what but this is the scent of the day it's eternity now my hubby got it for me while a while back and it actually smells so good it smells so good so this is what i'll be wearing for the day and we call it a day I'm going to put on a cap because I can't I cannot go with this hair mbele watu I've just taken shower and nimemwagikiwa na maji so ime shrink but that is not a big deal I'll be doing a cap Here we are we locked down in different cities and our virtual connection falls apart it's been too many years since California Now the memories of us is all I have See so one day I'm gonna reach ya Take a plane for many miles We pretend that time didn't pass us by When we're on the Holland Drive I know it won't be long I'm done and I've just done the foundation and some powder, like the cones. I think they're called powder in in the makeup language. So let me put on my cap and I leave. But my younger son is up, so I think little bit of cotton, a definitional bit of cotton. I I leave the house. Hopefully, because I'm enjoying the watch. I have big eyes, and I know. I managed to trick my son and finally left for the salon and I was going to do the gypsy locks because I had done them someplace last year and I felt like nilizitaka sana. So guys, I'm finally back at home and this is my new hair. It actually looks so good. The gypsy locks. I decided to go with these ones. Sorry. And they look so good, by the way. I just love, love love them so guys let's meet tomorrow hopefully i'll be going to the market because i do not have any 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 kind of green grocery in the house i need to get them and uh i don't know what the video will all be about tomorrow but hopefully i'll go to the market and show you how we do it here Today on Saturday and I went to Korokoto market very very early in the morning because I'm an early person and I want to do a quick green grocery haul then wash any that I can because I'm not going to 
I'm not going to do everything on camera because it's more of a repetition and I don't want that. So let me show you what I got. Then we we'll see what we will do next. So the first thing I got was these tomatoes and they were going for a hundred bob all of them. I also added some coriander leaves and they were going for 30 shillings. Very, very affordable. Very, very, very affordable. And another thing, another thing was these, were these green bell peppers. Quite expensive, I don't know why. I'm a sujika mani beria korokochi maribika, but I think they're quite expensive, even though not so much. All of them for a hundred bob. Some onions, quite expensive, quite expensive by the way. Imagine as little as they are, they are going for 200. I also have another sack here that I won't lift up, but inside it, it's this cabbage that was going for 40 shillings. And if you know a better way of preserving cabbage, kindly comment down below and let me know. Because the last time I wrapped my film and nearly realized the manza could turn black on the edges, so I don't know why. I also got some lemon. I want to squeeze all the juice and freeze them to make my work easier. They were going for 80 shillings, all of them. Some carrots for 40 shillings, because I have some in the fridge. And I only added this one. Pumpkin, which was going for 150. And I think it's quite affordable than before. Because before I used to get it at 200, 230, 250, depending with the seller. And some butternut for my son. More butternut. And they are very, very expensive. Very, very expensive. I can say that they are very, very expensive. Um, some potatoes, some Irish potatoes. Lastly, I bought some bananas, and they're not so good because I'm like I'm as I'm talking to you right now. I've been cooking some for my son and Sijui. I don't know, but has any I don't know why, but. Sorry for that. I got some. I don't buy much because Zinanzanga Kuiva and I don't like I don't like it that way. I also got some omeno because I want to prepare them for dinner. Some more onions here. I had to add them because I keep And I also got some oranges, which was going for five shillings. I've never taken these ones from Korokocho Market, but I want to try them out. They were going for fifty shillings each. Each orange is going for five shillings, and that is so good. Some arrowroots, and lastly, some avocado. It was going for ten bob, but as a diver. So, and I think I saw a trick of if you want to ripen your avocado, I think you place them in, inside the cooker. I'm not so sure of this, but you can comment down below and let me know. I don't know on whose channel I saw this. Like, she placed all of them inside the cooker and a cover. Like, they, need, they needed a darker 
environment and after like two three days they were okay so i will try it out but i will let you know on my next video if it really works so i want to wash what i can wash and keep them away So guys, for the bananas, I'm going to keep them just the way they are. I'm not going to wash them because I'm very really tired and I'm not feeling like straining myself. So guys, this is the lemon zest. I've just been nimekwa nikitengeneza and I want to keep it in the fridge. Then this is the lemon juice. I've squeezed it from the from the how is it called? From the lemon and I want also to freeze them because I just realized that it is easier this way than using the nini directly
for this one i'm going to put it in the fridge but not the freezer then these are the onions that have remained for these ones for these ones here i want to wash them and make the tomato puree I'll be keeping away the other vegetables in the fridge as I wait for the tomatoes to boil. Please note that I always clean my fridge of camera whenever I go to the market unless it's very necessary it's when I will show you how I clean So maybe it. if you're watching this one and you are new here please take note that I always clean my fridge before going to the market so that whenever I come from the market I arrange my and I arrange or keep my things away they are always in a in a clean fridge or a clean freezer My tomatoes are ready so I'll be peeling off the outer cover before blending them then store them in the glass just until they are cool enough to be kept in the fridge and please note that whenever you are making the tomato puree at least the first 3 to 4 days of blending them make sure you consume them because past there I think zitakuwa zimearibika This is like an hour later and I want to remove my lemon juice. I want to now keep them in a plastic container before placing them for in the freezer. Then for the tomato purees, they have also cooled down so I'll also be placing them in the fridge. And so guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video so far. Give it a thumbs up if you like it and also share me out in case you haven't. Empty hearts and neon lights